Okay, so this is going to be a video on, well, theoretically, unless I mess everything up, how to turn a PDF file into a book a bit like this. Uh, that book is actually covered on, da -da 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 -da, on Instructables, in case you need written instructions on how to do it, but this is a blank book so it's just not covering any of the, the printing end of things but right so uh, what will you need for this anyway right. so. noodles thread maybe a bit of fabric if you want some fabric maybe cardboard for the cover if you want that but the main thing you need is a printer that isn't a complete piece of shit like an inkjet you want a laser printer because then you can print without having to buy an ink cartridge every five minutes and okay right let me just get the shit off the top of the printer and then we can turn that thing on Okay, so the printer's on and ready to go. As you can see, a book is made up of little sections. Those comprise of four pages, or four pieces of paper even. And those four pieces of paper use 16 pages. So, numbered to illustrate your e point. So, you do a bunch of those. And how you do a bunch of those, and you get the printer to sort all this shuffling of the uh, pages is uh, the print button. Then you go into a booklet thingy. Then you want to select your pages. Uh, 1 to 16. And then we've got to da, 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 where the fuck is it? Landscape. I don't know if you can see the thing, but I mean. Right. Okay, right, let's see if we can make the printer work the other way up. Turn the printer that way up. Bear with me, I'm just going to swear up this machine a little bit until it does. Okay, um, push the auto rotate button and we'll see how that does. That seems to have filled up the paper a bit better. Right, anyway, so printing 116 and go.
จ้าร่อโอเคร่อนสักนิดสารสุภัยพันธุ์ก็จะแบบนี้ถ้าเราต้องการที่จะปลิดสุภัยพันธุ์นั้นไปแทนนี้ก็คือแบบนี้ถ้าเราต้องการที่จะปลิดสุภัยพันธุ์นั้นไปแทนนี้ก็คือแบบนี้ Well, that text does look a little bit dinky, but yeah, as the picture shows, print side up and close the drawer. Okay. Few pages, so title, contents, page one point one, one point two, da 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 da, and that. So I'm going to do that a few more times, and then I'll be back. So yep, yeah, first one was one to sixteen. Next one's that, as you can see. And okay, so we've got all of these little booklet-y things printed up now. Uh, these are the page numbers that they were done in. The last two pages, I had to juggle the numbers a little bit. So instead of four sheets of paper, they were made out of three sheets of paper for the last two, otherwise you just end up with like the odd page or something at the end. Uh, something else I've noticed is somewhere in there, there is a missing page on the actual um, PDF document, or it appears to be something like that. Well, there might be a couple of missing pages, but yeah, the, the page numbers keep jumping from side to side every now and then. It would be nice if they were all in the top corner, but I can't be bothered to mess about and try and sort all that out. I'm quite happy where they all are, as long as all the text is up the same way. As I was originally thinking that it might, on the original document, they hadn't scanned the inside of the cover. But... But yeah, I noticed on one of them that, I think it was section 8.19, oh there, so yeah, there's, there's one number missing now, and which page would that be, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, so wherever page 49 is, let's see if we can find that. 
So now we're going to puncture some holes along the spine so we can do the threading a lot easier. Also it makes all of these line up. So I should try and work out how long I'm going to do this with one hand. And now I'll put the there. So now the one with the holes marked in it. That goes inside that one. That one to the middle. And this is all sitting on a spongy surface. I don't want massive holes, just enough as a guide. And we do these four dots, five dots even, one and a half number, so we can put the, all the knots on the outside of the book, which can be covered up later on. And there we go. Oh, 20 holes in the spine. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, I can have to remember. I'll we'll keep this piece of paper up the right way. So, top. Well, right, I'm going to do the rest of those and then I'll be back. Okay, so that's all the holes done. Now we're going to start sewing with a needle. Um, explain how the stitching is going to work so imagine that that is one of those so there you go in from the spine into the centre hole then from that centre hole into the next one there then cross over through that hole there and from here and I jump across the middle one into that hole There. So back out 
out the back again and we go into that hole and I'm losing who I am again oh of course that's all right there and then we come now into the centre hole. So we've got end up with two loose bits which come out the centre hole. And this one would be straight, so that'd be going across like that. And these two, you tie them in a knot around that one. But when you do that bit, put a bit of a bend on that paper. So this becomes taut when it straightens out again. Does that make sense? Yes, I'll see if I can set this camera up so you can actually see me do one. Okay, camera's precariously balanced. Pre-threaded needle, if only you could buy them from the shops like that. So in from there. a lot easier when you're not trying to hold this up to a camera shake your hands, too much coffee Dodge the middle hole and go to the next one along in the pre poked hole. the other side of that centre thread through and chop its head off on that. Now whilst we're holding this all loose or whatever the middle cross one 
it's a little bit shorter than the actual curve of the paper. Damn that coffee. Shake your hands. A knot. And another knot. I was never a boy scout. I was never confused. There we go. Two knots. And as that straightens out, that all becomes very tight. And how many more times have I got to do this? Many. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I've got 15 more of these to do. I'll see you in a minute. Right, okay, that's all the sewing stuff done. Right, next I'm going to try and clamp these in a way that they were all kind of together, then do some sort of stitching arrangement along there. Oh, I haven't tried this time or this way round of clamping it before, but we'll give it a whirl. So it's going to be doing some sort of loop to loop sort of stitch around each one of these. Might do both sides at the same time to stop everything getting too jumbled up and making it difficult to do the other end. But yeah, we'll go from that and then put them all together. Something like that. And should I hopefully something something like that. We'll see. Okay, change of plan. Uh, what I'm gonna do is put this fabricy stuff underneath the little bits of uh, cotton maybe glue it and squash it or squash it and glue it um yeah basically got to maneuver those and uh them yes okay i'm gonna need both hands for this i'll show you when i've done it if i do it if i change my mind again who knows okay that was much easier now i'm gonna clamp these bits of wood up around there then tug these through so they're nice and close and then tighten it up to make sure it's properly tight.
So I've got some chamois. So yeah, I'll put another bit of glue on there and just fold it around those edges and see what it looks like. So glue's almost dry, uh, sticky back plastic, going to put it on the front and back of the book. Um, not your normal type, but this is all I've got. I think it's for going on windows to make them burglar proof or some shit, I don't know. Anyway, it's going on. Okay, glossy cover all done. I put some of my nice uh, gaffer tape on there. Not the usual cheap shit, that's the cheap shit. That's the nice shit. Focus. Okay, yeah. Closer grain, this is the nice shit. Wide grain, it's a shit shit. Alright, so now I'm going to straighten up that edge because that isn't quite as nice as I'd like it, so. Alright, I'll set this shit up and then show you again. Okay, so set up to take the uh, minimum amount off. You could use a scalpel like these normal type, but I'm going to use the big one because I prefer it. So when cutting, pay attention to the angle of that. So forget about having the blade straight. You want that cutting edge to be straight, so the angle they grind that at, you want that bit to be pointing directly up towards you. So if you keep it at something like that and keep going, the cut should remain straight instead of going out, 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 and out, and out, which is usually what happens. So keep it that way, you should get a clean cut right the way down, and you have to keep going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Well, just keep lots of cuts and you'll finally get through it. Okay, 
Mexico. It's been a while since I've done this. I overcooked my angle a little bit, but... Right, now time to do the top and bottom. So yeah, that's the sort of thing I meant to do first time round. Okay. Gotta go, 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 gotta go